All right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jacob McDonald, and I am a sports nut. I'm an athletics nut. I absolutely love sport. And, you know, when the day comes that I can't do what I want to do physically, because I simply can't, I hope and pray that I've at least tried as many things as I've wanted to. My biggest fear is to get to the end of my life. We're going deep here. We're going deep. My biggest fear is to get to the end of my life and have regrets, especially physical regrets, regrets that my physical body could have done, should have done, would have done, but can't anymore because I procrastinated or worried about what anyone was going to think. I live a life of no regrets now. And with that in mind, today we're going to look at Matthew Bowling yet again. In the last video, we looked at him running the second fastest indoor 400 meter dash in 2021. He is officially at the moment the second fastest 400 meter runner indoors in the world, which is extremely impressive. But in this video, I'm going to read the description and then we're going to make up our own mind and then we're going to watch it. So the description reads, and you thought his 45.51 season opener in the 400 meters was impressive. It's been a while since Matthew Bowling has raced with any real consistency, but now that he's once again finding his previous form, he is absolutely crushing everyone. Well, all right then. This was Bowling's first 200 meter race in almost an entire year, but don't let his lack of racing fool you because he is quickly proving to be the next great Olympic sprinter. And with that being said, Let's get into this. I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> what is he going to do? Go, son! That is complete and utter sprinting, isn't it? It's different to the 400, but not much different. Go, son! Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's... Oh, I love... Okay. I love seeing that, that, that... I love seeing that real, you know, grit at the end there. Which means he ran right to the end. Which is something that Usain Bolt didn't do back in the day. In certain races. So there's certain times when he probably could have run a new world record. But he didn't. He decided not to. Which was always the one thing that frustrated me. Just being a fan. Wanting to see as many records broken as often as I could. But I guess you you know, you know don't have to. If you've got the race in the bag you probably just want to take it. You don't want to risk any injury do you? Anyway let's continue. I have to say that Matthew Bowling is officially a track and field superstar. <laughs> yes, he is. On January 29th at the Arkansas Razorback Invitational, this sprinting prodigy has once again completely outdone himself. With a fantastic time of 20.53 seconds, he has now achieved the second fastest time in the world this year for the 200 meters. Just one week ago on January 23rd, that is so exciting. That is so exciting. We need this guy to get into the Olympic team. This meter dash but it's looking as if the Olympics may be pushed back ever. two years According to 2022, to which is unfathomable or completely, you know, cancelled, which would be tragic. But just like his best performance ever. According to the World Athletics Ranking System, this 200 meter time falls just one point short of his 400 meter ranking. But just like his previous 400, this was his very first 200 meter race in almost a year. These times just don't happen for someone who hasn't raced in almost 12 months, so I cannot help but think that he is completely ready for 2021. Throughout this entire race, Bowling was absolutely motoring. Down <laughs> yeah, well, you're he not wrong, mate. Speed <laughs> That's an understatement. Quickly, and coming down the home stretch, he looked strong and once again determined. This time is not only the second fastest time in the world this year, but it's also a new school record, Georgia. a new personal best, and wouldn't you know it, this time would have placed first in almost every single installment of the Indoor World Championships. Indeed, Bowling has started his 2021 campaign on fire, but what times could Bowling achieve right now if he were to this run race right, that race, race, that race right there was so impressive, his 60 meter dash, we did mention it in the last video that He's clearly worked on his start. You know what I mean? That was one thing that let him down. That's one thing that Usain Bolt was let down by, was his start. And the fact that it did take him 
a couple of steps at least just just to get up to full speed but that's also because he was so tall now Matthew Bowling is a couple of inches shorter so he you know having worked on his his start it really doesn't look as if it takes him those extra couple of steps to get up to full speed anymore so that's even more exciting now there's no exact way to translate an indoor time to an outdoor performance no there's not but what is clear is that athletes are able to run much faster in outdoor events mm. for the 200 and the 400 meters athletes tend to run about half a second faster for the 200 and one whole second you're joking faster for the you're joking this guy's making the olympic team doors because of this it's fair to assume that matthew bowling right now could run a 200 meters in approximately 20.03 seconds and a 400 meters right around 44.51. Both of these times would be fantastic, but more importantly, they would also make him a clear contender for the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. Now, it is important to mention that he ran this new 200 meter time on a banked track, which is when the actual track surface dips around every corner giving the athletes a slight speed push in comparison to a flat track. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I, I saw that in the previous video. I said, I said to myself, okay, there's going to be more corners because it's a, it's a, it's a shorter straight, but you must get some form of assistance by that. Now I know it's called a banked turn, right? But I didn't actually see that it comes down into a little dip before coming onto the straight. So you literally, I mean, you might go up, the bank but you do come down the other side you will get a bit of a a bit of a boost from that but it's just it's different it's just different and apparently overall about a second different in the 400 and half a second in the 200 interesting perhaps this improved his overall time by a tenth of a second or maybe two tenths at most but either way this performance was unquestionably amazing and i'm guessing that not every indoor track is banked like that in comparison to previous indoor 200 meter races, there is one specific performance that makes this time even more impressive. Back in 1991, Michael Johnson ran an indoor 200 meter best of 20.55 seconds. Indeed, this time is only two one hundredths of a second slower than bowling, but either way, it was slower than bowling's time. And later that year, Johnson went Look on at to him win go. the World Championships, and he also ended his season with a new personal best of 19.88 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, it is entirely possible that... La <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is entirely possible that Matthew Bowling runs a 200 meter dash of under 20 seconds. And that will be... About a second, I'm led to believe, behind yeah, <laughs> Usain Bolt's current world record of 19.19. Now, we will know that Matthew Bowling is real fast when he starts getting close, even close, to the world records in the 100 and 200 of Usain Bolt. But as far as the 400 meter dash, I reckon that could be his calling. I really do. And I do believe that, that the 400 meter could have been one of Bolt's greatest races greatest distances if you guys haven't seen usain bolt run a 300 meter dash please do and then come back later this season we could see matthew bowling run under 20 seconds for the 200 meters however only time will tell just how fast he'll run and now i want to pass the question off to you guys how fast do you think bowling will run this year in both the 200 and the 400 meters leave your thoughts in the comment section down below thanks for watching everyone that is such and a good always. idea. Until next that is, time. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. Um, that is such a good idea to get some engagement going on your channel, just to ask a question. But it does take the viewer to actually get to the end of the video to hear the question. So it's a bit of a catch-22. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. But what I will do is just have a look. No one should be surprised. He's young. I'm literally, literally just hearing about him and I'm already rooting for him. That is, that's the attitude, mate. That's you, that's when you know you've got a real winner. When he's got the talent, but he's not he's not he's not a he's not a dick about it, or he doesn't seem to be. I don't actually know Matthew Bowling from a bar of soap. But from what I have seen, he seems like a pretty cool guy. He might be, he might not, but I'm gonna leave it there. Um
I am going to leave it there. Actually, Charles makes a good point. I'd like to see him run smoother over the last 50 of the 200 meters. And that's what I thought. I thought he is going out of sync. Like he's he's sort of, yeah, just losing losing form. Losing form um, through fatigue. Uh, and in fact, he does say here he falls out of form and this reduces forwards velocity. A few meters will make a difference at the trials and hopefully in Tokyo. Great comment, great comment. But with that being said, that is the final video of the day. I really hope you've enjoyed. I hope the audio quality is uh, sufficient and I hope you have a great day. So thanks for watching. Best of luck to Matthew Bowling. And any, any news that I hear about the Olympic trials, any news that I hear about him clocking a 100 meter dash, because we've seen the 400 and the 200 now, I will certainly bring it to the channel. So all I can say to you guys is stay tuned. And peace out.